here we have the four in one forehead or, or four in one infrared thermometer. It measures your forehead, your ear, um, objects, and ambient temperatures. It comes a nice little pouch. When you get it, it comes um, receptacle with your batteries. The batteries go in the back of the clip here. So you put your two batteries in and then seal it back in here. Um, to start off, you press. Um, well, if you want to change the, it, it, it's preset in centigrade. If you want to change it from centigrade to Fahrenheit, you press the MEM button, which is your memory button or the settings button. Wipe off for six seconds. Once you've done it for six seconds, you take your finger off, press it again. That allows you to change from centigrade to Fahrenheit. Um, to kick it off to start with, um, you need to do your forehead. You press the start button. On the right, put it on your forehead. Now, when you put it on your forehead, you've got to make sure that it's firm against your forehead as you press the start button. So, you're pressing the start button, you're pressing it four, on your, four against your forehead, and going from a left to right motion. You hear a little bib, and that tells you it's measured it correctly, or measured correctly. So I didn't do it, you hear that two or three bibs, I've got a low sign which means I did it faulty. So I wasn't tough, it was not against my forehead correctly and then I don't get a good reading. So I'll try again. There you are, we've got a long beep and I've got 96.9 on my forehead. Now to do your ears, you take the cover off, automatically you get another symbol at the top there from your forehead to your ears. Put it in your ear and press start. Get your bib. Now I've got a slightly higher temperature, which is 97.3. You're going to get a higher temperature um, in your ear to your forehead because it's an enclosed space. Um, now, if you want to do ambient temperature um, or the, the glass, what you've got to do, you've got to wait for it to turn off. And once it's off, you press the MEM button for 35 seconds. Um, and then when you turn it back on, it will be in the ambient mode setting. Um, so let's do it one, two. Sorry, 10 seconds, not for 35. I made the photo, so it's 10 seconds. You see a little house on the inside there and that will allow you to uh, register the ambient temperature. My ambient temperature in this room at the moment is 69.6 .6, um, Fahrenheit. Um, let's see what this glass is here. Oh that's a cool bit of water, 65.3. Um, so and that so you can so if you've got a baby and you want to touch up the temperature in the water bottle you can do with that just quickly just change it from, from, from there back back to it. Um, and that's it, the four in one. It, it's actually a superb bit of kit. If you want to change the, uh, the bib and noise, what you've got to do is wait for it to turn off again. That's how you reset it. And then if you press the MEM button, that's when you do press it for 35 seconds, and that will go off into silent mode. I wouldn't necessarily have it on silent mode. I like the bib because um, it tells you um, easily if something's going wrong or when it's finished. If it's on silent mode, I think it would be a bit difficult to, to, to set that out. Um, but I think every household should have one of these. It's just a superb product. We have a, a, a quite sick of child. Um, and it's nice that I can just pick this up now and just check the temperature within a, a few seconds. It's easier than putting a thermometer in your mouth and your arm pin or whatever. Or the magnetic strips that you can move around on the top of your forehead. It just changes the temperature. So it's a perfect kit.